Hello, this is Monica from Irani Institute, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set your temperature for your sugar paste warmer. All right, so come on in and check out my warmers. So I actually have two paste warmers right here. So keep in mind that when you get your sugar paste, no matter what brand you're using, your paste is going to come hard and cold. So it's not going to be heated up. And the reason why we like to heat up the sugar paste is because the warm sugar paste starts to get a more gooey consistency and it's great to roll over the skin and it's not gonna pull the client's hair as you mold across the skin. Now, if you're using cold sugar paste, that can be really uncomfortable and painful for the client. So we always wanna warm up our paste before we are doing the service. All right, so if you come over here, I do have my Sweet and True double warmer and then I have this standard four level warmer right here. So in my studio, I do always have the three going. So I have the soft, I have the pro, and then I have the medium. And then I do typically keep the hard on reserve and I don't really heat that one up. I rarely use that, but in the summer, if you need to get out of a sticky situation, it's good to have the cold hard paste on hand just to remove that melted paste if that ever does happen. But right here, I typically am gonna be using my medium and my pro. So the thing to keep in mind when you're heating your paste is your paste level of heat is going to depend on two things. So the, the number one thing is the level of paste that we have. All right. So with my paste, when I have a full bottle, keep in mind that it's going to take more heat to heat up that full bottle. So as I put my new paste in, I typically turn it up to a three or a four on the sweet and true warmer, depending on how hot it is. If it's a typical day, I'll put it about at a three. Now, once I set my new paste, this is going to take about two hours to fully heat up with the paste. All right. So if I'm in a rush and let's say I run out of paste in the middle of a client day, I don't have that time to wait around for my paste to warm up. So what am I going to do? I'm going to bump up my heat to the highest setting. So I put it all the way up to a five. You just have to remember to turn it down because your paste will melt really fast with this. It's ultra going to heat it up. All right. So after about, I would say 30, 40 minutes of that. Okay. Now your paste is fully heated. Boom. Put it back down to the, to the temperature that you want. So that's what I do when I need to do it really quickly. But if I'm putting my paste in full overnight and I have plenty of time for it to heat up and incorporate with that heat in the whole jar, I just keep it at a three and then it's good for the next day. Now with my pro paste, my pro paste is a little bit softer than my medium. So this is the second factor that's going to come into play with your heat temperature. So if you have a softer paste, you're actually going to want to put the heat a little bit lower. And the reason for that is because the softer paste tends to heat up and melt a little bit faster and it stays a little bit more liquidy in the, in the temperature. So basically what you're going to want to do is keep it a little bit lower. You can see I naturally have this one at about a two. And that's great for my room temperature. Now, if it's really cold, I can probably put this up to a three for a full jar. Now, if you'll notice, my jar is actually lower. So as my jar gets to the bottom, I can keep lowering that down. So I can put this one a little bit below the two. Now, as you go throughout your day, you're going to notice that your pace is going to be going down, down, down and down. Now, depending on how busy you are, this might take one day or might take a couple days or might take a couple weeks, which is totally fine. Just keep an eye on your paste. And as you're going through your services, feel how hard or how soft your paste feels. Now, if it feels overly melted, you are going to want to turn that down. You'll start to get to know your temperatures based on your warmer as you go throughout the services. So these are the temperatures that I like to use for my paste. I start my medium off at about a three. And this one off at about a three or a two, depending on the day. And I do bump it up to a five to do a rapid heat, turn it back down when I'm ready after about 30, 40 minutes. So that's the sweet and true warmer. Now this one, I will say it's a lot faster than my traditional warmer, but this one is great too. And this is great if you have a small space and I use this for my soft paste. And the reason why is because I love how this one just has a really low setting. Your soft paste, you actually are gonna wanna keep it at a lower temperature because remember what we said, the temperature is going to depend on two things, how high the sugar level is and also how soft is the paste. So the softer the paste, the lower you want the temperature. With that being said, I typically keep my soft paste, just generally speaking throughout the whole duration of having it plugged in, no matter what the level is at, at a one. And that's because the soft paste is really soft and I will use this for larger body areas such as legs 
and I don't want it to be too melted. So I usually keep it at the lower rate. So even if this is a little too hard for me at the number one level, it will warm up on the client's skin. So that's just my preference. But some people like to put it up to a two. And then if this was a medium or a pro paste, I would definitely keep it at a three or a four. All right, well, I hope this helped you guys to get to know your sugar temperatures better. Now, I also wanna add in a little side note. If you guys are in a pinch and you guys are at home, maybe you guys don't have a warmer yet or you need to heat up your sugar paste faster than the 40 minutes, you can actually pop these guys in the microwave. And I've done that so many times just at home sugaring myself or if I wanna sugar a friend at home and I don't have the warmer or I wanna heat it up really fast, you can actually put these in the microwave for about 30 or 40 seconds for a full jar and it'll heat up really nicely. So that's always a great hack as well. And of course, just make sure that it's a plastic bottle. Don't put any other kind of bottle or metal tin inside the microwave, obviously. That concludes my temperature video. If you guys have any other questions about temperature settings for sugar, just let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.